Okay, we are back in the depths and we, well, just watched a guy die last time. So we are moving forward into this weird kind of monstrosity of a place. Thankfully, we do have a long rest spot up here because I'm wagering that's because you can't just exit the area. We are going in stealthy, mainly because we don't want to be killed by things. Okay, so we just saw a door. Did that actually tell me anything? No. Okay. So, yeah, that was strange. We just basically saw ourselves a, a little bit of a door there, and hopefully it's the place we're going to end up going. Go I don't know yet. To where you came from, you insignificant beings. You are not worthy to enter. Ooh, the mind of the master. Find a way out. Okay, we'll figure out a way in there. Probably gonna have several encounters in here if I had to guess. This is, seems like it's gonna be an extra dimensional plane, which means that we're probably going to be running into, well, some painful things that are going to rip us a new one. I do see spikes up there, which means we might encounter things that way as well. I think I want to go right first, though, because it seems like the right way. And then down over here, we'll check them out both before going through that door, if at all possible. Uh, sometimes games like this will kind of lock you off of areas and hopefully we won't get the whole like your crit 97 times thing going on because that was that was getting frustrating <laughs> i've slept since then thankfully oh the hell was that about oh if we come down in there it actually kills the lights a little bit okay um i guess we go this way and try to avoid the weird lighting okay can we go that way and look down Um, okay, so things just got dark. Let's go ahead and we will cast out the, where are you at? Dancing lights. Let's try and scout ahead just a little bit. Okay. So yeah, this area apparently just is going to have a whole bunch of different like weird lighting things. I do think that it's kind of weird that we have dark vision on three out of our four characters. We still can't see in the dark. Let's stick together. This it's one area where Baldur's Gate actually did it really well, is they basically gave us the um, ability to have kind of like a red highlight on things if we had a Dark Vision character selected. Okay, so that might be a transition to another... No, it's not. Okay. Just the limit of where we can see with the dancing lights. So dancing lights check this way. So we have multiple paths here. Looks like there is a crawl space there. So we'll try that, and then we'll just keep going along this path, and then we'll come back to where we came. Map-wise, we do actually have visibility on it, okay? Oh, wow. Map. Thank you. Okay, so we can see in here a little bit. I think they're trying to force me to use torches and stuff like that. Hell no. Dancing lights all the way. Always dancing lights. Uh, we got ourselves a magnificent dagger. That's probably another plus one dagger, if I had to guess. You're going to go ahead and ritual identify that real quick. Although we do actually have a few things we do need to identify, don't we? I think we do. Well, we're going to identify that first of all. We know for sure that's enchanted. Damn. And it is just a dagger plus two. Oh, and he... Oh, yeah. Rituals require, require you to become a visible... Thankfully, there's nothing too terrible about this. Because we're kind of like in an isolated room where things aren't going to just randomly spot us. So identify that. Just make sure it's not anything special beyond that. Um, My stream shouldn't say Diablo 2. It says Lost on my end. Um, I will check in just a second, though. Well, let's go ahead and go back out here. And I will alt-tab and check that. No, oh, It says Slosta here. That might be on Twitch's end. But anyway, back to what we were doing. Saza. Let's go ahead and crawl out over here. Come on, keep crawling, you guys. And how's it going, Adam? I'm going to go ahead and cast out. Actually, we're going to get cautious again. And cast out some more dancing lights. Boop to there. 
And it looks like this is going to be a large open area. No, I don't want to. No, no, no. Fucking hell. God damn it. Piece of shit. <sighs> anyway, we're taking this fight in, I guess. Um, hopefully we don't get completely murdered because it wouldn't let me click on the fucking dancing lights. Ah, oh, that's horse crap. Anyway, I'm going to murder these things. Okay, so they are on a lower platform. I don't know what was going on there. This is just <sighs> annoying. Yeah, I, I clicked on the dancing lights to move the dancing lights, not to move up there, you sacks of crap. But anyway, let's go ahead and murder these things. We're going to have to waste a lot of resources on this, probably. Let's go for... Uh, do we just... I think we go ahead and focus in on the big boy. Because the rest of these little ones should be relatively easy to take down if we can stop them at this little juncture right here. So go ahead and drop that out and move up. And you are going to go ahead and... Shield of Faith on... I'm going to Shield of Faith on Kolgar because I think most of these are going to have trouble hitting us. So get him up. We're going to have a few more of their turns coming through. They're going to start moving towards us. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. They're going to cluster up here and hopefully, hopefully we can just fireball them. That is going to be my goal. Okay, so yeah, they're clumping up, but they're clumping up right on top of us, which is really not pleasant. So you, cutting action, let's go ahead and disengage. Proceed with that. And come over here and you're actually going to stab this one. Thankfully, we are a much higher level than the last time we encountered these, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with them. You, I'm, I really don't want to use up your spell slot, so we're not going to. Currently, we are not looking too bad on that. We're going to actually do... Firebolt. Actually, no, we should use one spell off of you. We should do one fi regular fireball. And hopefully... Can we actually get this up to a spot where it's not going to murder our cleric? Not really. We can't even like get a good little group of them. I'm going to abort that. I'm going to actually do a fire wall then. Uh, wall of fire line. What? Are, oh yeah, you're concentrating on the bloody things. That's fine. Oh, you can't see there. Nice. <sighs> I guess it's firewall. That or tentacles. I'm going to go for fireball. Just because I don't feel like dealing with that nonsense. So that. Seems like a good go. And eh, decent damage across the board. Not the best thing ever, but it's okay. So dancing lights, go ahead. Move back there so we have a little bit of light on them. You're going to move back this way to there, I think. And end turn. And you are going to move forward and start tanking these guys as well. Tank the main group of them, at the very least. So, smashy, smashy the phase spider. Get rid of their turn economy by killing off all the little ones. Big one is the bigger threat, but at the same time, less hits Perfect. means less chance of them just overwhelming us in one turn. And if I kill the ones that are taking early moves, I don't have to worry about them near as much. So there's another one dead. You go ahead and come down here, block off the zealot. Next time. So now it is down to just a handful of little spiders and the zealot kind of... Oh, what? Phase spider was dead, was it not? Okay. Oh, that was the one from down here. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, we killed one. Oh, and you actually got hit. What did you get hit by? Okay, so Zealot does have plus 8 to hit, so we need to have a little bit higher defense. Did we actually... We maintained concentration. That's a plus. So, slashy, slashy time. Another miss. <sighs> Can we roll above average is all I'm asking for. That would be, like, a major boon right now. Uh, go ahead and just do a level 1 healing word on yourself. There you go. And turn, because you're tanking. That one's stunned. You used one of your divine actions for that. Yep, have the damage. Oh. It off. Stab it to hell, please. Yeah. And there we go. Hey, we rolled one above average. That's sweet. Okay. 
So you are going to actually do just a normal magic missile. One to there. You don't have line of sight on that. You do have line of sight on that, so that's going to be your extras. Go to hell. Let's see. And I agree with Peter about most of these enemies. They can just go to hell. So anyway, let's go ahead and smash... Smash the face, spider. There we go. Hey, we got a 20. So we're not getting all crap. Well, we're getting mostly crap rolls, but we're not getting all crap rolls. Okay, so enter in there. You're going to tank him. He's going to probably rip you a new one. Nope. 25 misses. 26 hits, though. So we need to be a little bit aware of that. Thankfully, it only has two attacks. So, oh yeah, you have advantage because that's stunned until the end of your turn, which we're going to pass on the strike. We're going to just swing at it twice and just beat it up the old-fashioned way. Run it's no longer stunned because it's dead. So we'll be able to move there, yeah, once its corpse disappears and end turn. So you should be able to get a backstab. We're going to do that with your secondary weapon first. There you go. Sneak attack. That dealt a decent amount of damage. Yeah. That's oh, and we got a crit on the main hand. Dang it. Okay, end turn there. And you're just going to shoot... That's a nice. Oh, a dex. Oh, yeah, because we have the fire bolts on you. Which is fine. I don't mind him having the fire bolts. We need to burn them anyway. Ha ha ha. I know, bad joke. You like it? So we got a bit more information about them. We did get loot off of them. Oh, we got our arrow back. Sweet. So go back to being stealthy. And now, whenever I click on the dancing lights, it better behave. We're going to quick save, though. Because that was definitely a rough little bout there. So we have an up on each side. And I'm not sure what this is over here. So we're going to check that out first, I think. Maybe. Seems like a good plan. So we can see something down there. You're going to keep moving down, light up the space. So that's just a thing. Uh, go ahead and cast a new one out. So as far as what that is, I have no idea. So what are you? Do you remember where we? Okay, so that lit up one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where we came from. I'm just concerned. We're going to check each of these other directions as well. That's one thing lit up. Going to quick save again. It does save in different quick save slots each time I do that, by the way. Okay, so that's a dead end. Dancing lights go down there. Hopefully the other side isn't dark like this. That would be really annoying. <sighs> Okay, so there is something up here. I'm getting a little turned around, am I not? Okay, so no, we're going the right way. There is something else over there. There is a torch. God dang it. I hate having to recast that every five seconds. But it's fine. It has a duration of, I believe, yeah, one minute. So it's not really that long of a duration. So you guys sneak up a little bit. This goes the rest of the way in. Double check that there's nothing to the left. There is something to the left. Okay, so we'll have to check to the left as well after we check out what's in here. There's something in there. I'm not sure what it is. You can hit that probably. No? Can you hit that with a firebolt? I mean, we could highlight it before... Oh, no, you can't. Has to be from the other side. Okay. Unboard that, and we'll just go down through here. I have to say, I'm sorry for how dark these are. It's just the game decides it wants to do that. So let's go ahead and pop in here. We are stealthed up, so chances of them spotting us pretty slim. But at the same time, who knows? Could have another situation like the last one. So that, oh, we can actually go up there. Most of us can climb walls, so it's not like 
that scary of a situation. So that goes back this way. It looks like there is, yeah, there is definitely something over there. How do we get there, though? That is the question. I'm going to have everyone go down into that little spot back here. Okay, so we can go there, supposedly. No path to destination. So go back this way. I'm going to check one thing back here. If we all go down on that lower platform, I am curious about what happens. And yes, we will be going in sneak mode the entire way. Because I don't want to miss out on stuff that's potentially down here. So if everybody goes down there... Yeah, no path to destination. So maybe that's a shortcut back. And that could be a campfire, maybe? Potentially? So we'll go back to the gate, because I don't see anything else in here. That's a block off. That's blocked off. That's the thing we stepped on. This was the loop back around, so yeah, let's go back to the gate. I laugh at the emptiness of your actions. Okay, it laughs at the emptiness of my actions. Groovy. How nice of it. Uh, do we take a long rest? I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and just... Let's just be on the safe side. Let's take that long rest. So we will go grab this. Just to be on the safe side. Because we got... Not necessarily ambushed last time, but we did get kind of surprised by the fact that our stuff wouldn't move. Uh, and yes, I am keeping hydrated. I have multiple drinks here. So yes, we will wait for the long rest. We will set up camp. We will not worry about these things, and then we'll go the other direction. Hopefully this doesn't reset that thing that we stepped on. I wouldn't want to fight those uh, spoiders again. So as far as what we could use, as far as our abilities go, prepare spells, uh, nothing really changes here. Daylight is actually semi-useful just for letting us see while we're fighting, uh, especially against some things like with darker appearances. Aid eh, doesn't seem too useful. Let's go ahead and get rid of aid in exchange for um, contagion or flame strike. <coughs> Ooh, and gives them disadvantage on stuff with they get infected by it. And I don't think they can actually resist that. But it's a touch range. Ew. Greater Restoration is actually kind of nice. And that gets rid of elementals and stuff. But I think we're going to go with... Hmm. Death Ward is actually going to be slightly more useful now that we're getting further in as well. So that might be something I want to use. Protection from energy just protects you from an element... But requires concentration. I need less concentration stuff. I need more just immediately damage their face kind of stuff. So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get that. Uh, curse is... Concentration as well. So I guess it is just going to be Flame Strike. And you, I think, are fine? Yeah, we have we're we're set up just fine for him. We have two types of entangling kind of stuff. We have tricks. I'm gonna actually add acid arrow though. Just so we actually have more elemental types. But I do find the spell sword and the spell rogue to be interesting, but not as good as <clears throat> they originally were. They still have a lot of usefulness though. Don't get me wrong. So we will go uh, this way. And hopefully it's not another one of those, let's make everything dark areas. It might be, though. We can probably test it by... Eh, it doesn't look like it's going to be we're making everything dark. <coughs> Sorry for having to clear my throat during this. But let's see. We have an <coughs> item over there. What's down below? Hopefully nothing too bad. Uh, it doesn't look like anything. So I'm going to send the rogue over to that. Hopefully the wall climb actually works for this. I, I have noticed this game has a lot of inconsistencies whenever it comes to flight and whenever it comes to the wall climb. 
Like, there will be short, stumpy walls that you should be able to climb over that you just can't. So, I think that's an issue that they'll probably want to work on whenever it comes to, like, any expansions or next campaigns that they do. Which I think they will end up doing another campaign, as long as this is profitable. And I would look forward to it. So, map-wise, yeah, that's just out-of-map area there. And we travel further in. Hopefully, not getting ambushed along the way. Because this, one thing I have noticed is that they do like to use their, it's not there until you pass a certain point kind of things. So I think this might be another uh, combat area, possibly. Okay, so there is a thing there. I'm going to move down. Probably going to regret this. So there's a puzzle? I'm, I'm guessing this is a puzzle. So, in we go, very cautiously. Okay. What are we supposed to do here? I'm guessing trigger all those symbols? I don't want to step all the way into that just yet. I want to walk around the outside. Okay, so we've got a number of symbols over there. Okay, so I'm wagering once we step in there, it'll start triggering the event that we need to do here. Not sure whether it's going to be combat, but there is no other path for us to go, so. So, activate that. Pause it. So we've got direwolf, direwolf... Is that it? Is it really just two dire wolves? I mean, you switch to that and shoot one. Even there we the go. Oh, okay. So there's some cutthroats. Giving me some low level enemies here, and I'm really bewildered by it because we were, we were running into some scary stuff before. I'm kind of perplexed by the low level stuff here. It's making me a little bit on the nervous side. So you are going to go ahead and get up there, get yourself a nice overview. In turn. You are going to go... You go after the dire wolf. Don't even bother using, like, range ah. stuff just yet. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is why I use magic missile, by the way. <laughs> Uh, pass on it. Don't use up Surrender your uh, divine die. interventions. In turn. Yeah, that's why I use magic missiles so much. Because I roll ones a lot. And I roll twos a lot. So you are going to do... Actually, you are going to do a... I'm thinking a cloud kill there? Yeah, because that'll hit all three of those. Cloud kill on those. This one should be getting hit by it as well. So whenever it rolls around to their turn, they should take damage from it. You are going to move there. End turn. And you get to fight this guy again. With hopefully... An there you go. That's a good start. Switch to bow and aim for that guy. Nice. Enter. So no longer surprise. Took 27 damage from Cloud Kill, thankfully. So yeah, we're just kind of just staying away from them for the most part and just hit. shooting them in the face. So you are also going to be just doing range stuff until they decide to come up close. Uh, pass on the strike. And move back to there. Yeah, you still have line of sight on everybody. Oh, you have a second shot. Uh, should have actually taken that before I moved. But it's fine. We we didn't hit him anyway. You're not coming back. Wow, insta killed that one. So that took a bunch of damage as well. Ah, <laughs> please don't. So let's see. Negative. Yeah, that's because it's obscured by Nobody the has cloud. Your skills. Bravo. In turn, you get to go ahead and switch back to melee because you're now being accosted by a dire wolf. 
which is now dead. And I guess end turn. I need to grab that and end turn. It's kind of hard to do because it's literally right down there where you're like scrolling the screen with it. Okay, so there's items to be grabbed. So you guys get to go grab the items before you step on there again. Maybe this is an arena battle. In which case, let's go ahead and step on that before our cloud kill goes away. Yep, it is. It's an arena fight. That's why. And nothing spawned in there. That sucks. Okay, so it's casting Ray of Frost. Uh, pass on it. It's got to hit an attack roll. Uh, targeted by a hostile spell. Yeah, go ahead and cast that. Did it actually hit? Yeah, it missed her with it. <sighs> Thankfully, they're going after our tanky ones first. Which is fine by me. I like having that cloud kill there. It makes me happy. So, let's see. You can just start smashing on these. I'm going to go after the Spectral Avenger first, because that's the more threatening of the two. Well done. Especially considering it's partially immune to what we've got. I mean, we still do decent damage to it because it's a magical weapon. We just don't do the cold damage. And turn. That's a ghoul. Uh, probably going after our cleric. Yeah. 22 to hit. Does Oh, Carrie's got the crossbow out. That's why. Uh, cast spell. Yeah, you need to protect yourself. So daggers in on the ghoul. Hey, There's precious. one down. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, so that was painful. Let's go ahead and take this one out as well. Resists acid. Okay, only takes half damage from it, which reduced it to zero. You. Hmm. Do we bother casting anything big on them? We we already used our big spell there. I'm going to go for a firebolt on the little guy. Because we're going to be switching no, Kari back to keeper. using uh, melee. After this turn passes. Oh, you were paralyzed. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. In a few days, clocks. Uh, let's go ahead and pass on the chill touch. It's going to probably hurt just a little bit. A critical miss. <sighs> And another miss, thankfully. Please let Kari have a turn so I can put the shield up. Let's go for... Smacky Smacky. One more hit should bring that down. And then we can start smashing the other one. Yeah, Skeletal Knight needs to go down next. Vulnerable to smashing! Smashing good time, you guys. In turn on you. That's going to be the Badlands Ghoul hitting again. Please don't contact. That way you can actually... Yes, thankfully. Yeah, that's one of the downsides to having the bow out on the Cleric is against things success. like this that paralyze, it can cause a lot of problems. Yeah. Because they can paralyze it and you're just like, mm, well, butts. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and... I think Acid Spray on the two of them. Yeah, they're both in the same direction, so it should... Yeah, Acid Splash. A little bit of acid damage. They're both acidized. And I will smack them with a sword. And I think the Badlands one is we want to target. Um, yes, we will actually strike that one. Oh, it's saved against it. Bastards. Strike again. We're going to have to rest after this anyway. So it's stunned. Do we need to heal anybody? Not really. They have to get a fairly decent roll to do this. Uh, what are you actually casting? Sure, we'll counter it. Because I don't know what that sorcerer is casting. That can be a very painful thing if they cast, like, lightning or something right now. So I'm going to smash this. You have them now. And then come around here, smash the gas. That's another one down. Get all up in its biznass. 
Oh, I can't go there? Okay. Smack that one with the hammer. Not enough to kill it, but enough to cause it some pain. And since this is going to be a long series of battles, I have a feeling we're going to need to conserve a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. Let's actually go for... Not that. Cast spell. I'm going to go for Shadow Dagger. I'm going to actually use Cantrips for a lot of this. Failure on the Wisdom save. Nice. So I need to conserve his stuff too, unfortunately. So let's go for a Firebolt. Oh no, we can't see him because it's dark out. Um... That's a rough one. Let's go for just a level one magic missile. Just to take them out. Uh, yeah, and we'll even counter that with our reaction. I mean, we could have just... We did still drain a spell slot from him, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and slash yeah. you. Please, slash you. You should have yielded. I don't even know what their AC is. Because sometimes you can... <laughs> This is one thing that some people are probably going to call me out on a previous episode. Is that I was talking about... Um, let's go ahead and switch to bow on you. But I was talking about how some DMs actually don't make 20s auto hits. So if there's something really hard to hit, it's going to stay really hard to hit. And I don't mind that type of DMing. 20s are not always auto succeeds on other things, so why not do it in combat? Some do actually have it be auto success as well, but that's fine. So we leveled up again. We've reached level 10. Okay, so we got some things spawning into the cloud. Um, immune to poison, unfortunately. The wolf is not. This is going to be a bit more of a battle. What the unholy hell are you? Ogre zombie? A regular ogre. An orc chieftain. Okay, so this one's going to be... This, I'm guessing, is going to be the last battle here. Hopefully. So I'm going to go ahead and... Is this the one that... How do I know the difference between these? I think this is the one we want. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Ah, butts. If you're positioned correctly, this would actually be awesome. So, what we're going to do... Your turn is fairly far down the turn order. We're going to actually fireball... No! Yeah, we are going to lose concentration if we do this, but this... Can we really not? We really can't because it wants to put it on this high platform rather than the low platform. You assholes. <laughs> Okay, so that guy's scary. So that's another thing we can't do. I'm guessing we do just wall of fire line then. Okay, so like that. Can I... Can I position it? Almost can get it to... Th oh, I can almost get it to where I want it to be. I guess that's going to have to work. actually abort that and we're gonna cast it again we're gonna see how far over we can actually do that wall of fire line yes we know we're gonna lose concentration so that yeah it can go like that that's just as good so we just drop out a massive wall of fire it burns everything in our way we move back. <laughs> we also have a guy back behind us over here. It's an orc shaman. So you're actually going to move all the way over here. We want to spread out because the orc shaman has lightning. Okay, so 24. That's going to suck. Have the damage. It's going to be how much blood? Uh, yeah, a ton of bludgeoning. Okay, so you... Need to come up and deal with this, I think. Or you're going to be coming up here and dealing with this line. Keep him in the fire, maybe? Yeah, keep him in the fire. 
As far as what spells we have, let's go ahead and do Insect Plague. I'm guessing right there. So yeah, that seems like a good spot for it. Drop out an Insect Plague to pierce them a little bit more. You were doomed. Okay, so they're basically... These can't see. They have to go through a giant wall of fire to get to us. They're not happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this way. And try to kind of just block them in. You are the one who's going to deal with this guy. Okay, do a little bit more damage. Yeah, just do your... You're going to do your action surge as well. Uh, counter spell. Yes. Too slow. Action surge for another uh, volley. We need to get rid of him, like yesterday. But it doesn't look like we're gonna because we can't roll above a 10. Hey, there we go. I just have to comment on it and it'll let me. Which is fine. <laughs> is that another shaman up there? No, that's a grim blade. Winter Wolf's going to get hit if it stops in the fire on its turn. Let's go ahead and cast Spell. Eh. Nah. We could miss the step. I don't think we want to. End turn. So Reckless is going to give him advantage. He's still got to roll a 26 to hit, though. That's why we made the Cleric basically an insane paladin. Are you going to run away? Where are you going to run away to? The other half of the battlefield is on fire. Ooh, lordy, that was close. He has to roll a nat 20 to hit. That's one reason why I push, like, the cleric's AC so high is because they need a nat 20 to hit. So you are chilling here. I guess we're going to get advantage on stabbing this guy in the butt. That's the way. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what I'm talking about. Let's see. You can actually get over here and stab this. I, one reason I did stab like that was because I needed to get the opportunity yeah. attack gone. More. And turn. And attack it as it passes. Okay, it's going to try. Oh, it shoved. Okay. Zombie ogre is not loving life or unlife. What would that be? Who <sighs> lordy. They have plus nine. That one can hit me pretty easily. So here we're going to go ahead and just go for... We want to save our upper level ones. So I'm going to go for... Let's see. Orc shaman. We'll do two on that. And then one on the unknown creature that we know is an ogre zombie or something like that. Um, sure, we'll counter it. How many spell slots do you have left? Enter. I don't know how to... There's no way for me to really easily tell, tell there. So you are going to go ahead and use your sword's ability to drop out a Warden Blade. Yep, we're going to lose concentration in our other thing, but that works. In turn. You should be able to just smash. Oh yeah, it's immune to cold. Well, we'll smash you with our secondary then. One so we can get that me. cold damage in on somebody else. This archer might be a problem later, but for now, I don't want to worry about him. I want to get rid of all these pain. Oh, hey, we just got an achievement called Ice Ice Baby for killing things with ice damage. Nice. So there's 21 damage on you. We're doing okay. We're murdering some things. It's trying to move away, so we will go ahead and bash it in the back of the head. Or perish. We got a 29 on that. Well, so we, we rolled high there. We're doing a lot better on rolls this time than last time. So I'm not as irritated by it. So Orc Chieftain, have you met Rogue? Yeah. Apparently not, because Rogue cannot hit. Yeah. <laughs> One I'll and a two. Oh, Lord. 
Only five damage from that because he succeeded, but that's okay. You can actually survive fairly, fairly well. So you do not really have much else you can do. We could do Acid Spray. Oh, they're literally because they're not... I really don't like that. I guess we're just going to do an Acid Spray on one of them. Which one do we want? Chieftain, I think. Proceed. They're supposed to be two close enemies. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, it's missing that one. End turn. So you get to come over here and harass both these guys. I'm going to go after the Chieftain. Ha! You cannot defeat me. Just because he's a bigger annoyance. Ha! And we also are better off just focusing something down. Oh, an opportunity attack. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? He missed. Nice. There Crush you go, Orc Chieftain. We'll hit you with a secondary hit just to take you down. Bark all you want, old man. Now this guy's being accosted by three people at once, so... That was almost a crit. 9-3, miss. Sweet. We'll take down the Orc Grim Blade, and then we'll focus in on this guy up there. There you go. It's working out pretty good. End turn. A success. I thought our... Oh, it's because it's the sword one. Yeah, our... I don't... I think it uses a base value for it. I am unbeatable. So which way are you going? That Grimblade is not having a good day. Yeah, he's down to just a fart left. Cast spell, firebolt. And even if we miss with this, he still takes half damage. But we hit with it. We only dealt five damage, but it's still better than nothing. Okay, so you get to go deal with this guy. Again, harder. Hi, Orc Archer. You don't really stand much of a chance whenever we're just like all up in your business, do you? Does he drop anything? No, the only one that dropped something was over here. So you get to go ahead and stab him. Oosh. Roll a little bit higher, thank you. So our Winter Wolf knowledge has increased, and we open the door. Yes. I'm going to go grab this real quick. And it's just an arrow. Okay. So F5. The question is, do we go in here and deal with this? I'm going to step in here real quick and see what happens. <gasps> I'm going to press it again, see if we get another fight. Do we? We do! I was just curious. I mean, we have a giant firewall sitting over there as well. It's not going to do anything against the things that are in it, but it's there. So this was probably a bad idea. So guess what I'm going to do? Load game. Auto save six. Load. Oh, we probably should have gone after the quick saves, not the auto saves. Because the autosave is the start of the battle. Quick save is us doing our thing. I just realized how long this episode has been. So guess what? We're going to call it at that last battle. And we'll start another episode in just a second. <laughs>